rain started for the first time after Rapunzel's return to the castle. Ecstatic at the rhythmic sound of the rain, she rushed to the palace garden and started dancing. Cassandra tried to bring her back as the king had ordered her to, so Rapunzel wouldn't get sick. Rapunzel ran away at the sight of the lady in waiting. Cassandra ran after her but stumbled on a small stone and fell headfirst into a hole full of fuzzy rainwater. Rapunzel didn't notice her fall and ran farther away. Getting up with her uniform dirty, Cassandra went to Eugene, who was reading a book reclining on his bed with a blanket on. Would you please excuse me, sir? Cassandra mocked. Sure. How can I help you? Eugene replied. Go and get your girlfriend back from the rain. King is afraid she'll get sick. Cassandra's voice went uphill from the soft tone at the end. Eugene jumped out of bed, grabbed an umbrella and went out to the palace garden. You can't stay nice for long, can you? He told Cassandra before leaving. Rapunzel, come back. Eugene shouted as the rhythmic sound increased with the continuous heavy rain. Eugene, drop the umbrella. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I'll dance all day. Dance inside the house. Are you crazy? It feels like heaven. I've never been outside while it's raining. Don't you dare kill my fun. The blow. Oh, you're no longer a blonde anymore. Eugene remembered he had cut the 70 feet long golden waterfall with his own hand. But with or without the hair, she always looks stunning. Even on this cloudy, gloomy, rainy day, she is shining like the sun. Her white skin and brown hair reflected the sun penetrating the shower. Eugene, come dance with me, Rapunzel said, flipping her short hair. Not today, sunshine. Sunshine, that's the name I should call her, Eugene thought. Sunshine, come back. I'll tell you a horror story. It's cozy inside. No way. I want to enjoy this divine fall of happiness as long as I can. Okay, now you are testing my patience. Eugene sighed. He went close to Rapunzel and grabbed her arm with his left hand. His right hand was busy holding the umbrella. We can do it again, sunshine. It's summer. Lots of rain is still due. Eugene frowned. He was getting wet despite the umbrella's protection. Oh no, I'm gonna catch a cold. He began dragging Rapunzel to the house. Oh Rain, how I feel your existence. Aren't you beautiful? Rapunzel screamed. Thunder stuck somewhere near with a heavy sound. Rapunzel squeaked and held Eugene tightly. Let's go inside. I don't want to be here for a moment longer. She quickly said, scared. All right. Eugene chuckled.